Hi, thanks for interest in this uh, very special Scandal Green Sport 160. Uh, you might have seen it recently on collecting cars. Didn't um, get near to our reserve, to be quite honest. Um, we looked perhaps a little bit disappointed that it didn't run um, probably over the reserve that we set, which is 40k, basically, because uh, it is such a unique car. But, um, yeah, maybe with the fees and everything like that on collecting cars, uh, maybe just uh, people were a bit, little bit perhaps put off by that. But it's, it's one of them. It's my personal car. Um, certainly wouldn't have a problem with it stopping, but um, we do have a little bit of an issue with space and, and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah, it, it is for sale. It's there to be sold, unfortunately. Um, as I look at it now, um, you, you sort of question these things. But um, it's a car I've known for a good while now. Um, I bought it off a, a chap in the Midlands. Um, he was the guy that owned the car when uh, it had this incident with the... If, if you're not aware um, and didn't see it on collecting cars, um, it basically uh, it got burgled. Uh, the car was sat um, being in the sticks and everything. It was sat in the garage with the keys in it. Um, and this uh, delightful young chap decided that instead of walking back to wherever he lived, he'd have a nice little ride in a in a Scandal Green Sport 160. Not a very good idea because he was spotted uh, literally a couple of hours after um, and apprehended by the police, but. Unfortunately, the car did um, sustain a little bit of damage. It had a front clam on it and a repair to the back. Um, all repaired under insurance. It's fully HPI clear. It's unfortunately the sort, sort of thing that does happen with cars. Um, but a slight bonus uh, is that basically it got painted by Specialised in Reading, who have done a stunning job on it. And, and it's still... Uh, this all happened in 2008-9. And as you can see, it's still maintained a really tip-top finish it's never been painted again since then i have to say um but it really is first class it's um it's an absolutely outstanding car in every way uh and it's wonderful yeah it's a, it's just an absolutely wonderful thing to have and me being into lotus and particularly the special editions that's my uh exige cup 260 just behind it there uh, and we can also see here we've got a vxr220 turbo so it's all uh the kind of stuff that interests me personally, but it's also great to have these cars in your business as well. Um, so, yeah, as I say, uh, I bought it off a ch the chap in the Midlands. Um, he'd had this incident with it and then owned it for a subsequent, um, what will it be, probably another 10 years after that. And then I sold it to a chap uh, also, uh, well, Leicestershire-based. Uh, they had it for just over three years. Two brothers uh, sort of co-owned it. And then... Um, I was fortunate to get a phone call just to say, uh, do you want to buy your uh, Scandal Green Elise back in? And I says, crikey me, yeah, I do. Um, so, yeah, um, I've obviously maintained contact with, uh, with both the previous owners, actually, funnily enough. Um, it tends to be quite a small world that we operate in, and I've sort of watched the adventures that this car's had in the last three years. It's been in an absolute Lotus magazine at least once, possibly twice. Um, I've got a copy of that, actually, as well. And it's just been cherished. It's obviously always been garaged, and it, it, it's just it is what it is. It's it, it's just you know might be a little bit biased, but you know is is there a better S1 out there? Um, certainly, with, you know I mean a Sport 190 would be nice, but they tended to have been race cars and stuff, so that's a bit of a different thing. You know maybe there's one or two road 190s out there, but. Um, these do drive slightly better. They are a little bit, um, if you read up on them, that you know, they've got very cammy engines. It's all part of the character of it. But these are a little bit of an easier drive than the uh, VHPD ones. But you still get the great sound and the awesome tick over noise, which um, I'll demonstrate that shortly. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, I've just done a quick um, sort of 360 there. But, I mean, there's just nothing really, to, I, I don't think... Um, I mean, I better be careful what I say, because there might be a stone chip on it. There might be a couple of stone chips on it, but uh, if, if it has got anything like that, it's... I mean, I'm doing my best to sort of pick out... I think one of the wheels did have a small mark on it, actually, when when I loaded it on the uh, trailer. But, all, you see, all these will have been replaced when it got repainted. So, although they're still, even at, from 2008, they're still a little bit old, uh, they've got 10 years on any of the other cars. Um... And yeah, like uh, oh, consumables are all good. There's, there's no, uh, it's you know, it's never wanted for anything. It's got, the, I think the service intervals are listed on the uh, advert, but 
for such a low mileage car it's got excellent history uh, we did the belts on it um, three years back when we had it in that's the mark I was looking for you see yeah just a very slight graze on there uh, yeah we did the belts three years back and then it's just I think had a service at unit four in Burton I think um, that's just a recent one uh, it's got the all-important seats in there the um, foam and materials doing you know it's still still attached um, this can come detached and has to be restuck down but they're in great shape um, there's a little bit there where it's just come away that, that can no doubt be stuck back on um, but yeah the rest of it this little area is a good one for getting little bubbles on it on series ones but there's just nothing like that on it and again um, series ones get um, even pimples on the dashboard which is a bit funny but Nothing like that on this one. This is all just nice and soft still, the Alcantara. Um, and yeah, it's um just represents its mileage really, you know, there's no uh, certainly no question over mileage on it. You can just see just when when you get down in all these little bits and pieces, you can't you just can't get this normally. This is uh you know, obviously not seen much in the way of weather or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it drives perfect, everything like that, you know, um, it has been used, it's done 3,000 miles I think, no, 2,500 miles I think since last time I saw it. I'll just pop the uh, boot up there, and in fact I'll just open the back up, so there's another thing uh, in there and you can see all these little crevices that normally get filled up with all leaves and god knows what, it's all super duper clean. Pop that back down, and then yeah, in the back here, which I forgot to mention before. So we've got all sorts of stuff in here. There's all sorts of goodies. There's um, there's a CD with the because uh, it's got an emerald on it, so it's got the mapping information for the uh, ECU service book, uh, all the old invoices, uh, second set of keys, and also in there um, uh, there is a, a, a lot of detail on the uh, repair that got done from Specialized. There's pictures of it, there's pictures of it halfway through, there's pictures of it before it got started. Um, though, though, those pictures, uh, just really just to uh, look after the eventual owner, um, I'm not going to be transmitting them electronically. If, if, you, if you're serious about a 40 grand lease, you'll, you'll come to site and we'll, we'll stick the USB in the computer. You can look right through them. Um, no chassis damage of any kind on it. Um, it, was, it was, if anything, over repaired. You know, Specialized really did do a good job on it. and. Um, I rang them about it when I first came across the car, um, it, when, when I bought it in, and they still maintain it's one of the nicest cars that they've ever worked on, and they they really get their Lotus cars down there, and they, they, they really did go to town on it, and as I say, it's just, you know, even though it's all that time back, it still um, presents in just amazing condition, it's um, absolutely outstanding. Um, so yeah, that's our uh, 160. Um, if I've missed anything or you need to know anything else, uh, drop me a line. Thank you.